Hi, I'm Lawrence from Keeler Permaculture Farm and this afternoon I'm going to plant 10 peach trees along this space in the agroforest. And I'm going to show you how I do that. And I'm also going to plant two almond trees in the almond tree row where they had died. These 12, uh, these uh, peach trees are all different varieties and they're all ripe at different times between May and end of August. So we're going to plant them in order. First one to harvest here and then later at the end. And in between, why not? And then in between, uh, we're going to plant a few nitrogen fixing trees. When I plant these, we're going to dig a hole and we have these bare rooted trees. Um, so we're going to dunk these into some mycorrhizal fungi paste um, and then we're going to put into the ground this is the mycorrhizal fungal paste. It's a powder you mix with this uh, paste and water. In the ground, we're gonna put this really good finished compost from our chicken compost system. Also in the ground, we're gonna put some worm castings. Okay, half a bucket per tree. Then we're gonna plant the tree. And then down the end there, we've got the sheep manure compost, which we'll use as mulch. And then next to each tree, We'll put a cutting of wormwood absinthe because basically this helps with the leaf curl that the peach trees get. So I uh, just want to say a big uh, thank you to the people who have been donating trees. One of these trees is going to be for Neve. So I've just dug the holes and Kimberly's mixed the mycorrhizal fungi and we have to wait five minutes for the paste to be ready. And I thought I'd just tell you about the cover crops here. So what I've actually done, this field has got lots of swales and on the alley crops between those swales all have different cover crops. I've got a video on that. But in this area, there's a line of where the trees are, which is parallel to the next swale. And it's parallel so I can go up and down my tractor twice, or three times, sorry, uh, and get everywhere. Whereas the other ones aren't parallel, so I have to go up and down, up and down to get little patches because they follow the contours and aren't exactly parallel. So in this alley where it is perfectly uh, parallel now, I've put one cover crop to the right and one in the middle, two different cover crops. And then where the trees are, along the trees, I've put clover, red clover, to go well with the trees. So after we planted the trees, I sprinkle some more seeds because we disturbed the soil. Um, and then on the up side, where it's not parallel and really awkward to, to do, go with the tractor, I've actually put a wild meadow of flowers, loads and loads of perennial flowers, uh, which hopefully will stay there permanently. So hopefully this will look really cool with different colours all the way along. Not bad working when the weather's nice. We had a lovely day in Fendal buying these trees. Went for a lunch and then planting trees to sunset. Really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. I had to finish a bit early. Uh, we wanted to run the irrigation lines and also uh, prune the trees, but Kimberly had to harvest dinner from the garden. I had to put the sheep away and plant the remaining trees in the other swales. But I'll come back in a few days as the next two days are picking olives and then once we've uh, got, taken the olives to the press to press our own olive oil we will come back and prune these trees and run an irrigation line out. Thanks very much, uh, do watch this playlist uh, if you want to see more videos of us planting trees.